They love to do anything at their own convenience. Mama, that convenience is no longer suitable for me at all. Ha! In fact, Mama, I blame you. I blame you because if you had allowed me to marry Tito, I, I wouldn't be suffering like this now. Eh? We will be married with us now. Listen to me, young lady. I am your mother. And I'm in a better position to tell you. Tito is just, is just a lousy musician who, who cannot decipher between his left and his right. Mm. A lousy musician, but Tito is married. But I'm happily married for that matter. If he's so lousy as you claim, then how come he's so happy in his marriage? Who told you he's happy in his marriage? Who told you? Tony is the man for you. His calm nature, level headedness, and humility is what counts. What you need is patience and perseverance. You are a woman, aren't you? Exercise your feminine virtue and maybe it will spur him into action. Otherwise, you just have to remain calm and play your cards very, very well. Hmm? I have to excuse myself and get you something to eat, okay? I tell you, man, Ronnie, he's a clown, that dude. I'm telling you. Hey, that guy just missed his coming. He should be a stand up comedian. Mm -hmm. And he's always agitating over little issues of irrelevant things. He just starts complaining. And all this thing about his allergies, too. Insects touch him, or fly flies by. Oh my god, my <laughs> It's just so crazy, that guy. I'm telling you. If I don't know. What a waste. Who lived in my neighborhood? His name was Chris. 
was? Chris dated Monica, who happened to be my classmate at the university. Mm -hmm. They dated for about six years. Chris was a banker at that time, though. But <laughs> Chris delayed on his intentions to marry her, and you know, a woman's time runs faster than a feeling was. So Monica couldn't stand the delay. And luckily for her, some rich guy came around and proposed to her. She willingly agreed. Chris was devastated. He couldn't stand it. He tried all he could to win her back. To no avail. And so you know what he did? What? He took his life. Jesus Christ, he took his own life? Why would he do a thing like that? He delayed on his intentions to marry her. Hmm. And he paid dearly for it. <sighs> what I am trying to say is that delay is dangerous. I hope you've learned a lesson from this story. Good night. Hey, sweetie. Ah, I can see you fixing your nails. Nice. Are you going out? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm rushing up to the office. Tell me you work on Saturdays too. Well, not exactly. It's just that I have a couple of paperworks to tidy up. I'll be back before you know it. You know what you're going to do for me? I want you to please cook me my favorites, okay? Bye.
How do you mean? It's obvious she doesn't like your smoking and drinking habits. Can't you read in between the lines? Even if she doesn't like my smoking and drinking habits, so you call it. At least she's not complaining. So why crying more than you? Wait, 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 wait. That she's not complaining does not mean that she likes it. Maybe she has her reasons for not wanting to complain, you know? Such as? Hmm, I wouldn't know. Boy, if you don't have the right words to say, you just stay quiet. You don't spoil my day, okay? I'm starting right now, okay? But um, as soon as I'm through, I'll, I'll, I'll be with you very soon. Uh, yeah. No, very, very soon. Very soon, okay? Yeah. No problem. <laughs> okay, you too. Love you too. Bye. -bye. Very soon you'll be leaving for your orientation camp in Tacro. Yeah. I'll miss you. I'm going to miss you too, darling. Well, at least you're going to find time to come and see me. Yeah, yeah, of course I will. Okay. Trisha. Hmm? This question might sound strange. I'm just curious. Okay. What is it about a man you don't like? I don't understand. I mean, what are the things and habits you so much dislike in a man? Why are you asking? No reason. I'm just curious. Curious. Hmm. Okay. Mm, let me see. Well, personally, the things I do not like in a man, it's, um, it's when a man talks too much, who smokes in asses and also drinks. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. I hope you're not saying this on purpose. Or are you trying to pull my legs? <laughs> Why should I try to pull your legs? How come you've not talked about this since you know that much about me? Doyle. We're not in the law court here, are we? Is that why you're not giving into my marriage proposal? Donna, please don't start now, okay? I mean, we've been through this before, and I've told you my reasons why I can't accept your proposals now. I mean, why? Oh, well, all right, all right, no problem, no problem. I'm really sure. Hmm? Let's get finished. Get out of here, right?
up with living in such a big house, you know, wasting space. I don't understand. What's the issue? I know you don't understand. But the issue here is Rachel. Oh. I mean, Tony, why are you wasting her time? Tony, this house is too large for you alone. Ronnie, you want to understand. The point is, I'm taking my time. I don't want to rush into this blindly. What do you mean you don't want to rush into it blindly? Tony, you guys have been dating for the past three years, if I'm correct. Or is there something I'm missing here? I'm not insinuating anything, Ryan. Yeah, quite true. Notwithstanding my long-standing relationship with Rachel, I still have to be very thorough and careful. Marriage is a lifetime commitment. You know, it's for better, for worse. Till death. You don't... You, you know, you gotta be careful before you just dabble into it. You know that. Tony, in as much as I tend to agree with you, but the point still remains that time waits for no man, especially the feminine gender. Meantime, why don't you give us something to hope for? Such as? Like commemorating your relationship in a three-year anniversary celebration, just you and I. <laughs> Where did you get that kind of idea? Just some kind of an inspirational idea. And it usually works wonders on a woman's anxiety while she waits. <laughs> you know what, Ronnie? Well, for once in your life, you have spoken sense. <laughs> Let's say that again. <laughs> To a long-standing relationship. Cheers. Cheers. Care to dance? I am not in the mood. Why? To me. Why have you refused to formalize our relationship? Look, it's over three years now and and I was thinking tonight was going to be the night. I was thinking you were going to propose to me tonight. Why bother about this, Rachel, baby girl? Come on. Don't forget, you just finished your youth service. Oh, please. Please. That is not what I'm talking about, and you know it. Baby, how else do we prove that we love each other? Look, I am a woman. Remember. Fine. We'll get the ball rolling when I return from my seminar in Port Harcourt. Not again. I have heard that countless times. I'm not interested. Well, I assure you, this time, Rachel, there will be no countless time. I promise. Now. Shall we dance? That's my girl. First challenge is possible in this situation where both partners are not sure of themselves. But Mama, is there a greater challenge than a situation where the woman or the wife is found smoking cigarette and Indian hemp? why men these days delay and take their time before settling down with a woman. You know, women these days are very unpredictable. I thank God Rachel doesn't see. 
that's not the reason why you are delaying your marriage to her. After all, you've got her for this. Hmm? And from the much I've seen her, she's a good girl. I don't think she'll smoke. So, my son, don't let such a mistake discourage you, okay? Mama, I'm hungry. Do you have anything at home for me? I have your favorites. Oh. <laughs> so let me go and prepare the food for you. Thanks, <laughs> So I was saying, I'm done enough. Meet my platoon mates, Joyce Andrews. Joyce, this is my fiance, Donny. Actually, his name is Donald Akin. But I call him Donny, you know, for sure. <laughs> Donald just came in from Lagos to see me. Isn't that yeah, beautiful? Donny, that's very nice of you. So pleased to meet you. Yeah, it's a pleasure to you. Trisha has told me a lot about me. Really? Right. really? I hope it's all a positive thing. Because I always do things positively now. You know, I'm a man of quality and focus. Is there any honey? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you're positive indeed. I think I have to leave both of you. I have a lunch date. All right, a lunch you. date? <laughs> Fisher, okay. I'll, I'll see you later. All right, take care. Yeah. So sweetheart, yeah. how long did you stay in Kamaka? Uh, I just have two more days to spare. During which time I want us to uh, talk and straighten out some intimate issues. And what kind of intimate issues could you be talking about? Why don't you find out in my hotel room? <laughs> Bad boy. Okay, um, let's say, why don't you drop me off in my apartment and then I get dressed? Because this dress is killing me. You don't understand you don't it. Doesn't even fit. Just <laughs> play it. <laughs> All right, let's go. That's not the way it's done. Give me that kind of money. I see the magic up before. Telling you. <laughs> Look at this man. <laughs> you don't know who I am. Listen, I've traveled far and wide. I've dined and wine with kings and queens of both England and Spain. Uh, that's and I not have... the issue. That's not the issue, my friend. That you have traveled far and wide, you have dined with kings, you have dined with queens, is not the issue on the ground. You people don't know that experience counts in matters of resource management. What kind of experience now? <laughs> you have a lot to learn from me. Hey, there she comes. That's the most beautiful woman in the whole world. My behavior. Look, I heard you get your voice right from the gate. What is wrong with you? Why do you keep talking anyhow when you're in people? I am sorry. Uh, I was just excited. Oh. You're excited. Try not to be excited next time. And I do not like the way you, you talk about me with strangers. What is wrong? I'm sorry, honey. I'm still wondering why you're not particular about us settling down as husband and wife. I mean, it's quite like most young girls out there. Just, you know. You know. Donald, why are you trying to bring this up now? I mean, why don't you just spoil this lovely moment? We've been through this before. I've told you. All I need is time. I want to get through with my youth cells. Don't know for crying out loud, it's just a one year activity. Why just, can't you just grant me that opportunity? I don't see your youth service as a barrier. It has nothing to do with it, my girl. Donald, I want to be through with youth service, find a job, then I will start considering getting married. I do not want to be a liability to you. No, 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 honey. Honey, listen up. As long as we are one in the heart, 
What I have is yours. Job or no job, I can still take good care of you, right? I know. I know, sweetheart. But you know that I believe in financial independence so much. I mean, marriage is all about partnership, isn't it? Or oh, have you lost touch in that school of thought? Do you know, I promise you, I promise you from my heart that I will be your wife. Oh, please, all I ask of you is just a little time. Please, please, my darling, please. Tony, I still don't understand why on earth you're still delaying the day. Is Rachel no longer good enough for you? Mama, it's not like I don't want to settle down. Then what is your problem? Are you not old enough? Or don't you know I would like to carry my grandchildren one day? Mama, listen. I and Rachel would discuss this issue over and over again. The problem with me right now is just that I have my eyes presently set on that business seminar in Port Harcourt. Spare me that, Tony! Spare me that! What business seminar is more important than the thought of fulfilling what is expected of you as a full grown, mature, and successful businessman, Tony? Eh? I'm not getting any younger, you know that. Alright, mom. Alright, alright. I've heard you. I've heard you perfectly well, and I promise you that next week or so, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna start planning, all right? You better do that. The earlier the better. The earlier the better, Tony. Where, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, I'm going. Going where? Let me drop you off. Get in the car. Tony, don't bother yourself. Keep your car. Dropping me will not solve my present loss, okay? Mama. Why are you being difficult, for God's sake, Mama? Eh? Whatever worries you're having, it can be handled. Keep your car, Tony. I am fine with that, your car. Dito, keep your car. Mama, your car. Mama. This house is no longer conducive for me, and he knows why. He knows why. Is Tony not dropping you off? No, I asked him not to. I prefer a married man dropping me to a bachelor. Yes. Okay, Mama, in that case, let me see you. Okay. Okay. Honestly, Fred, yeah. I love Trisha beyond words. She gets, she's everything I need in a woman. <laughs> Fresh she's my life, man. Come on, boy. If you love her the way you're sounding, why haven't you taken her down the aisles? <laughs> you wouldn't believe this. She says she doesn't want to settle down with me, except when she secures a job after a youth service. Come on. That's quite strange. Many a girl won't even wait for a guy to say, I want to marry you a second time before jumping at the proposition. But wait, what's her reason? She wants to be financially independent. Okay, 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 okay. I think she's correct. But, you know, in as much as I tend to agree with her, still, I don't think it's enough reason for her not to agree to your proposal, you know? Except, perhaps, she doesn't love you the way no, you... No, no, Far from it. Trisha and I love each other very well. But why the stupid conditions? Uh, uh, why? I guess I'll have to be a little patient. What is it? Why are you looking like this? What's wrong? Or I got full stops in the car. <laughs> Hold your full stop. Did I tell you I need full stop? Did I tell you I'm hungry? Why are you stubborn, Tony? What is your problem? Mama, I have no problem. What is it? Why are you talking to me like this? I've told you to stop treating me like I committed the worst sin on the face of the earth. Marriage is not what you just jump into. I agree with you totally. Uh -huh. But three years is not three days. You've kept that poor girl, Rachel, standing for three good years. Three good years, Tony. Tell me, if you don't want to marry her, 
I will talk to her myself and get you a good wife. Mama, you know what? I am sick and tired of hearing you hammer this issue down my head for the rest of my life. I already gave you the reason why I can't do this. How else do you want me to explain to you? I told you when I return, I will get into it. What more do you want from me? If this is the reason why you call me, Mama, I'll stop picking up your calls. Hey! Yeah, but honey, you know how it is. I mean, you've been there before. Things just come up and you have to attend to them. And you know me, I wouldn't want to go with anything less than a very good certificate. Honey, can't you wait? Can't you wait? You could, you could get to Potapov and find out you just go back to be too early. You know how you feel, darling, okay? Well, my schedule has already been drawn and I intend to stick to it. But don't worry, I'll come back next week. Come and show mama some love. Trisha. Trisha. Hmm? You would not believe who I saw at the supermarket yesterday. Hmm? Yes. Look, please leave me alone if you don't tell me. <laughs> Benedin Okolo. <laughs> it's a lie, it's a lie, it's a lie. Our Benedin Okolo. Benedin, of course. <laughs> what did she do with Barakot? She came with her husband on a business trip. And they'll be leaving for Lagos tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, she even asked after you. Now, wow. So she's married. <laughs> you know, it really beats me why she didn't complete her university education. Marriage was a priority to her. I don't know. But personally, I would rather marry old and successful than to spoil my youthful career. I mean, me, I do not want to be a liability to any man. Education is never late. Yeah. She can still go back to school and finish if she wishes. Mm. Now, at least she is first of first holder just like me. Pick your phone, okay? <laughs> Hello, sweetie. I've not heard from you in a long while. What happened? Okay, love. <laughs> oh, camp, it's fine. When are you coming to see us? Okay, okay. Alright, I missed you too. I missed you. Um Okay. My regards to my in love. Alright, alright. I love you. I love you so much. Bye. That was my husband, Blake. You've seen me now, Mom. Of course I know it is. I mean, for the way you were smiling and rolling your eyes, you wouldn't know it's Blake. <laughs> It's how is he anyway? He's fine. He sends his regards. Oh God, Trisha. Marriage is the sweetest thing that can ever happen in one's life. Really? It's so fulfilling. So <laughs> what I say now? That we that are, or me that is not married now should go to the wall and hit my baby. Are you sabi? That's not what I said. Maybe she could go and visit my tacos. I'll be lonely without you. I'll be lonely without you too. But you know how it is. I'll barely have time for you even if you come along with me. You know how time consuming this business seminars can be? It'll just seem like you 
waiting all alone by yourself in the hotel room without me being there. It's okay. I wish you safe, Johnny. Thanks. Hey. Okay? I promise. When I return, we'll start making plans for our wedding. And I will make it up for your loneliness. I need to rush up now because Ronnie's already waiting for me in the airport. Again. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you told me your first trip was to Abuja. Don't mind me, Joe. I change my mind any day, any time. Depending on which is more promising, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this time, my wealthy Mugu. I'm sure you know him now, Raji Maragi. Mm -hmm. You know him, I've been waiting before. He prefers we hang out at his ranch in Kaduna. Mm -hmm. And when I come back in a month's time, I'll be in Portacourt now to see Senator Gumel for the things he promised me. My chick! You're too much money. Too much money. Oh yeah, too much money. Hey, hey. Now you don't enjoy now. I'm not cut out for all that rubbish. Stay there and be misbehaving. It's only you they can deceive. They can't deceive me. I think it's every girl that's ready for all this wahala for men, all in the name of marriage. I'm not cut out for that. That's my problem, oh. Girl, I need to settle down now. I need to get married. My body needs to. I'm not in this to desire to get married. But as a young girl in this modern age, you need to shine your eyes. Rachel, shine these eyes now. I go you well. Shine these eyes. See, let me tell you, there's so much to explore and to discover. Now that you have all the time on your laps before you enter into that prison house called marriage. But girl, shine your eyes, girl. Open up. Hey. Okay. What am I going to tell my fiancé now? What am I going to tell him he's taking me to Kakuna with you? Your excuse is not far-fetched now. Ha, just tell him you're going to school to get your transcript. Thank God you even graduated from ABU Zion. Oh, yes! Yeah. So, that is all! I'm telling you, this is why! Trust me when I come back this time. Well, girl, I go pull out some babies even when you see you go know you trust me. My girl, you are a big liar. Me? Yes, professional. You know? <laughs> 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 so, my life now, you come to me and see. You know, I love you, I come. You got trip you, girl. You know we are going. You know everything. We shall be there, like. No, no, no. Don't think they have to know.
Man, Tony, Tony, I'm pissed off. I mean, I'm, I'm pissed off. Man, there's so much money that's passing us by. We don't seem to notice. Do you know that I was going through a financial journal? Can you imagine? Bakari and Son, I know they're rich. Do you know how much they stake? 450 million naira. Man, man, these guys are making me. These guys are... Rony, come on. We're in a public place. We're here to relax and unwind. You just keep talking about money in the meantime. This thing is pissing me off. We, we, we need to buckle up, bro. We need to buckle up. You need to unwind. You need to unwind. Anyway, what's on the house for you? What's on the house for you? I'll just have some. So I thought we were going to make it an exception to the rules. I mean, by going for a beer. Why? Don't you? You're going to sort on drinks, man. Well, everyone has got his own style. Batman, get me a beer and uh, what is it gonna be? A soda water. A soda water. Yeah. Come on, Joyce, you can talk. Tell me, when was the last time you did something for the first time? Why do you ask? Well, you know, every passing moment in life presents a new experience, but most importantly is how you actually handle those experiences that matter. Tony, you know something? I've not really told you. But I respect you a lot. Yeah, I respect you. I mean, it's almost rare to see a man of your caliber in this present age who doesn't smoke, doesn't drink, and doesn't womanize. Honestly, sometimes I I wish I'm like you. Well, I, it's all about discipline, Ronnie. And most of all, it's all in the mind. I can't agree with you. Mm -hmm. I can't agree with you. It's not easy. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hi, girls. Hi. What's up? I'm fine. You guys didn't tell me you were coming to the bank today. At least I would have told David my guy to come and check me here. Hmm. It's not late. You can still call him on your mobile. Yeah. Okay. So what are you guys taking? Juice. Should I place it with a touch of brandy? It's very, very fantastic. Why do you always act naive? Man, you should know that I would never taste brandy. Sorry, I almost forgot. And um, bye, man. Please come. You don't do that here. Come with you. Why? Vicky, you know the smell of cigarettes the stuff Trisha. <laughs> Besides, why do you always smoke in public? It is not good for you as a woman. Who gives and this your righteous ways, God? It's my own life we are talking here. I'm not yours. Good. What's the matter with you girls? Huh? But you girls have spoiled my day. Please, excuse me. Go, 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 go. Good way that's bad rubbish. Exactly. Look, I'm getting tired of this place. Let's go away. I'm famished. Oh, I see one cute. I'm very, very hungry. <laughs> Let's order for food. What is wrong with you, Joyce? Joyce, why do you always eat out? Why can't you just comfortably go home and cook your meals? Shisha, I am not in the mood of cooking. So you of all people should know that stress is part of a woman's disposition. If you can't cope with it now, then when would you? How do you even manage to take care of your husband? Please, Trisha, I am not in the mood for arguments. Okay, save it. So what's up? What are you saying? Let's go. I'll do the meals, but for one time. That is my girl. Don't you dare <laughs> get out. <laughs> yeah, you help me with that. Yeah. My girl. <laughs> And I saw Bakari and Sons, Bakari and Sons of all people. I know they are rated. You know how much they take? Four hundred and fifty million naira. Oh. <laughs> Come on, we're in a public place where you're to relax and unwind. You just keep talking about money in the meantime. I 
even it's almost rare to see a man of your caliber in this present age who doesn't smoke, doesn't drink, and doesn't lie. Joyce, what is wrong with you? I mean, why do you prefer eating out when you can comfortably cook your own meals at home? Come on, let's go. I'll cook the meal. Hi, Ronnie, what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry I didn't tell you I was going out. I'm just somewhere around. No, no, no. I'm not in the park. No. With, uh, with my Mr. Yishu Chung. <laughs> it's Chow, Ronnie. Chow, Chow, whatever. <laughs> uh, Ronnie, listen, I am not feeling particularly too fine this morning, okay? Meaning? I just need a couple of hours break. That's all. Hopefully by afternoon I'll feel better. And definitely I will join you with the afternoon flight. You, you go ahead and Keep Mr. Yenshu Chow company till I get there, okay? Tony, there's a problem here. I mean, are you sure you're going to make it in the afternoon? Trust me, I will be there. Just tell Mr. Okafor to book me the ticket. <sighs> okay, I'll do that. I guess I'll be expecting you in Lagos then. Yeah, fine. Cheers, man. Alright. Sit flight. Thank you.
Yeah? I know, I know. I'm on my way. Yeah. I said I'm on my way. I'll be there. Yeah, bye. Bye. My name is Tony. Tony Irene. I'm Trisha Macaulay. Nice to meet you. Same here. Nice name. Thank you. I find you quite interesting. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I I don't know what to say really. I'm so short of I'm so short of words, sorry. I'm so short of words. Um, but I don't want to come across rude, but if you don't mind. Do you, do you have a boyfriend? Not really, but I'm sort of engaged. And I'm sorry, I can't help but tell the truth. <laughs> Amazing, I mean, because likewise myself, I, I'm engaged too. And I truly, honestly too, can help but tell the truth. Isn't that funny? <laughs> so we do have something in common. Hmm. Uh, I'm sorry. Honestly, um, it's just so unfortunate. I have to travel down to Lagos now for an important business meeting, and I don't know if I could possibly get your contact. Huh? I really appreciate it. Okay. I love you to have it. Thank you. You're welcome. It's very thoughtful of you. <laughs> Thank you. And um, that's a contact and your number right there. Sure. Thank you. Oh, God. I'm really sorry. I'm about to lose my flight. <laughs> Here. Um, here's my card. Please, I beg you. Keep in touch. Okay? It's nice meeting you. seem to get Tony off my head. I don't understand. It's he's like a virus running through my blood. It's it's everywhere. And I'm so sick of love song. Mm -hmm.
If you've seen the novel, tell me. Otherwise, just let me be. Excuse me? Anyway, I, I, I just came to find out what you were going to do about your last phone. But since you're busy, I have to go. How did I misplace that novel in the first place? Or you forget it somewhere? No, because I remember that I can. Or is it my imagination that I thought I came back with it? Hey. Maybe I forgot it in the hotel after I saw Trisha. You know? Yeah. Maybe it's there in the hotel in Potaka, because that could be the only logical explanation I could. What do you mean I don't care about you and your needs anymore? It's huh? very glaring, Tony. Since you came back from your last trip to Potakot, you just changed. You no longer care about me. You no longer talk to me. You don't even care about my feminine needs. I don't understand it, okay? I don't, I don't understand it. What is happening to us, Tony? Is it that you're no longer interested in me or what? You must understand how stressful my business has become. Oh, please! Don't blame me for your business, because I don't believe you! So what do you want from me now? Tell me. Or what do you want me to say? Baby, what about our wedding plans? You promised that Hey, please, you... don't go there. All right, please, I still have it at the back of my mind. I just need time to organize myself. Please. Time. Give me time. I misplaced a very important document of mine in the target. Document? Yeah. How important is it? Extremely important. Well, I think the best thing you can do is take the time, go back to Patakot, check out all the places you went to. I'm pretty sure you will find it. That's a very good idea. Give it some good thoughts, so. Don't you dare to patronize me, Tony. Who is she? God, what is wrong with you? This is my cousin, Edith. Hey, 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 hey. Tony! Cousin! Cousin my foot! Tony, so this is it, huh? This is your reason for the delay, Tony! I'm so disappointed in you. So you should have told me you prefer a cheap prostitute to me. A beg your pardon? Yes. A prostitute, that's what you are. What is? What, 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 what's, what's all this? Will you stop this? Tony, is this the Trump you've been telling me about? Wait, 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 To place a curse on me? To swear on me, Rachel? I am sick and tired of you. I can't seem to tolerate your nasty attitude anymore, okay? Please, get out of my house. Tony, I should leave your house here and live because of this thing? I said, leave my house now. Don't you ever come back to me. I beg of you. The worst thing you can do to me is to tell me you don't want me anymore. Exactly, Rachel. Read my lips. I don't want you again. Please, go. Leave me alone. Go. Okay. Fine. Fine, I'll go. That's what you never wanted anyway. I'll go. But let me tell you this. 
you will regret this. How could you be dating such an animal? That when you called off your relationship, it's not the end of the road for you. What is the end of the road for me, mother? Tell me! The end of the road for me is the fact that you denied me the man who truly loved me and wanted me. And now, you know what? I've lost everything! I've lost, I've lost the idiot you fucked me on! Mama, tell me. Tell me what do I have? What do you want me to do? It still baffles me that a gentle and well-bred man like Tony will bring in a prostitute. I still can't believe it. How would you believe it? No, tell me, why would you believe it when Richard is a liar? Okay? I just, I just cooked up the story. I'm lying, yes, I know I'm lying. That is not what I mean. It is not what I mean. Oh, what you mean? Give me the number of the person that probably checked in after I checked out, please. Why would I do that, sir? All right then, could you, could you get one of your staff to go into the room and search if the novel is still there somewhere? You never can tell, you know. Maxwell, Maxwell. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, 
Stay upstairs with us at 208 and uh, check if you can find any more. Find it. Ah, oh. what's your name? Uh, Star, listen. I need you to really assist me. All right. I crave your indulgence to please help me. Give me the number of the person that stayed here when I checked out. It's important that I find this novel. It's paramount that I must find it. That novel is very important to me. I know it's against the policies of. Hotels to disclose the inhabitants of the rooms. I know this, but please, please, I need to find that novel. Stella, please help me. Thank you very much. Okay, fine. Yeah? Sorry, two. Three, one, five. One, two, seven, two. On Saturday two.
These days is strange. How do you mean? I mean, you hardly pick my calls. Even when you do, you sound rather casual. You and you don't come around as often as I expect. Donald, it's just the fact that I'm still nursing this terrible nightmare. I mean, the death of my friend Joyce. Am I lost for? You know, baby. It's more than all that. I've told you that I'm okay. And if you do not want to believe me, then so be it. I wanted to start planning for our wedding. Now you're through with your youth service. Do you know, I'm not settling down until I secure a job. Trisha, I don't understand why you're delaying this issue. I told you your job has nothing to do with our marriage. It does for me. I want to have a sense of fulfillment. I mean, I read for it. I want to put what I read into practice. All I'm asking of you is just time. Please. Please. You're beginning to sound like a total stranger. I love you. And I'm ready to play by your rules no matter how hard. I'm sorry, okay? But oh, no, no problem. 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 Okay, yes, I will. Don't bother seeing me off. See you're tired. You need some rest. Get your rest. shoes we probably do the same thing but men don't need such hassling i'm sorry i don't know let me talk to tony tell him i'm sorry tell him i won't do it again just tell him anything i don't know it's okay my daughter eh? i've seen you your loss now wipe those tears out of your eyes and go inside okay wipe the tears Mama 
Now tell me, how can I possibly forgive a girl who has no iota of respect for me whatsoever? Tell me, how? She's a woman. You have to condone the aspect of her woman factor. She overreacted, agreed. Oh, is she just realizing that? Huh? Mm. To air is man. To forgive is different. Please don't turn me down, please. Mama, I am not turning you down. No. But you have to understand, it's going to take a while for my mind to adjust to this. I just can't accept your plea like that. It's going to take some time for my mind to condition. Tony, my son, please, please, I'm begging you. The offers from Elliot's investment that you asked me to document. And they are eager to receive our position, sir. Very well. Post them for my attention tomorrow. I can look at them now. But, sir, it's very urgent. Are you deaf? I said post them for tomorrow. Sorry, sir. Until she did what she did that broke the camel's back. Okay, uh, um, you know what, Tony? You know what? Uh, I think I'll, I'll have to talk to Rachel one on one. That won't be necessary because. Because. Um, no, 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 listen, listen, listen. Tony, it is better with the one you know than the one you hardly know. Leave the situation to me, okay? Just leave it to me. I'll handle it. I 
Excuse me, lady. I want to talk to you. What's going on here? Meet me in the car. What is this? Take it easy on me. I just want to chat you up, okay? I don't want to chat just like you've called it, okay? So leave me alone. Okay. If only a lovely angel like you will allow me to take her to wherever she's going to. It will be my utmost desire. My car is waiting. It will be for everyone's good that you left me alone. Because if you keep pestering me, you won't like what I'll do to you, okay? Excuse me. I didn't bring you out here to condemn you on those things Tony accused you of. But I just want to advise you on how to modify your ways. Oh, I, I never realized my mistakes until now. I, I didn't know Tony noticed my bad habits. I'm so ashamed of myself. Listen, Rachel. This is not time for self pity. I think what you should do now is go back to Tony and plead for forgiveness. I can't. Ron, I, I, I possibly can't go there alone. Why not? Okay, what if, what if he refuses to accept my plea? What if he just throws me out of... Okay, you know? okay, 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 Richard, now listen to You have to go back to Tony. Then I will try and see him and plead with him beforehand. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Ron. I, I appreciate your concern. I don't know how to thank Rachel, you. Rachel, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this, okay? It's all right, it's all right. Thank Sit you. down. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a bit too and too careless. I, I thought I was being smart, but... I didn't know you noticed all my bad habits. I'm sorry. Maybe if, if you had cautioned me, I would have, I would have changed. eating your food. I lost my appetite. Trisha, don't tell me you're still thinking over that guy, whatever you called him, Tony or what. I can't. I just... Forget it. Listen, girl, you have a greater future ahead of you. I mean, why would you be bothering yourself over a stranger you've only met once? Why? If you're just worried about him, what about Don and your fiancé? Are you planning to quit? Look, Kate, I know this might sound very stupid, okay? But I don't think you can stop thinking about him. He's, he's in my head. Well, Try, baby. Don't tell me you want to starve yourself over your man. <sighs> Who knows this your so-called Tony might have even forgotten you? Yes. Otherwise, he would have called you long before you lost your phone. Stephen, there are things 
even our printer of forgotten. Your future with Tona should be utmost in your mind. You don't have to compromise it with anything. Not even that Tony or whatever. Please, eat your food and let's get out of this place. Trisha. No, not over a stranger. No, eat your food. Fine, then eat. <laughs> Mama. <Mom. laughs> oh, thank you very much. I don't know how to say this everything. I'm sorry for the inhabitants. Thank you very much. Oh God, I told you that with little patience, things will work out fine. And I know you're beginning to play your role very well. You can bet on that one. That's you trust me now. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ma. <laughs> That's bad boy, come on.
necessary for everyone. We must have to get it. We need this again. Oh, it's even dusty. What is the who is Tony? She was, she, you've not seen her at all? She never got, Jesus Christ. How come? But she told me she was moving before I returned from London. And I've been trying her line from the airport. But it's not connecting. We'll check her up in the place, right? Mm, I think so. Okay. I think so. Okay, yeah, I think so. Take the bus and go. Yes? Hello? Hi. Uh, is Trisha home? No, I didn't meet any of them when I came home from the campus this morning. What about uh, Kate and Father? I said I didn't meet any of them when I came home. And I've been trying their numbers, but it won't go through. Are you a friend of theirs? Is there any problem? No, no problem. I... 
Okay, I'll, I'll come back later to check if they've returned, huh? All right, thanks, eh? What do I do now? How do I find Trisha? What on earth would have made her leave unannounced? Honestly, I'm surprised too. You know, but let me tell you something. Wallowing in self in self pity will not help you. You understand what you're gonna do? You stand up and you know handle the case like a man. You will handle the situation like a man. Bring back Trisha. What about all the people? Our friends, those I boasted to, that my wedding to Trisha is going to be the wedding of the daycare. What do I tell them now? How do I make good my claim? How do I stare them in the face when they laugh at me? Come on, nobody's going to laugh at you. Nobody will do that. You know that. But do you want to understand? I understand. Oh, no. I Just understand. Me. I do. I understand everything. But let me tell you. If you ask me, I think that maybe the young lady is trying to pull your legs or something like that, you know? I think she's gonna come back later. Come on. Donnie, are you no longer the hard man used to? Leave this girl, she will come back. Come on. Let's go inside and more wine. Let's go and take some, I need, you know, brandy. You don't, you don't have brandy in the house or something? Come on, let's go.
Talk to me. What, what did you say? What? That, that, that was Trisha. What? You mean that is the Trisha you were talking about? Tony, I told you. I told you. But you wouldn't listen. 
This is the same girl you were taking those risks for. You were roaming the streets looking for her, while she's here enjoying herself with another man. <sighs> Tony, I told you, destiny has not brought you and this girl together. She's an outsider. Trisha, Trisha, now see. Man, we have to get back to Lagos. We have to go. We shouldn't stay here wasting precious time. We have to get back to Lagos. Okay? Let's go. Let's get out of here, man. Come on, Tony, let's go. Okay, so we're going right, right left, right. then the first one. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. We really do appreciate it.
Every time I see two people together So 